Chris just uh, opened up the feed, so I'll just give you a couple of moments to click in. Any of you that are having problems finding me, sometimes what I do is I put a little advert up, which is like maybe a pink coloured square and it'll say it, so I'm not in there. Um, but sometimes what I do is um, I'll, I open the feed up two or three minutes early before, just so that we can just get ourselves all settled in. Um, I appreciate that sometimes it goes on a little bit of a time lag as well. So, um, But welcome to class, everybody. Um, hope you're all looking forward to a nice cosy bedtime session. Um, we're going to have a bit of um, focus on uh, lower back this evening. So hi, Angie and Jeanette. Welcome to class. Nice to be with you. Hi, Nicola. Really nice to be with you. Uh, just let you all settle in. The session is going to be around about an hour long. I will try and finish up just before eight if I can. I know a couple of people have got things to do at eight, so um, I will aim towards that. But of course, you know, if I do, if I do kind of go over a little bit, um, you know, you can always you can always get up, can't you, <laughs> Teresa? Oh, hi, Teresa. Hi, lovely to see you. Brilliant. So I'll just let you get clicked in. Give you a few moments to settle. Um, have around you a blanket, a cushion. Hi, Ruth. Hello. <laughs> Is this your first one? It must be. It must be your first one. So welcome. Welcome to class. Um, have a blanket next to you if you uh, want to, so, so you're ready to kind of cover yourself up for relaxation at the end. Um, if you want to, you might want a thinner blanket to have just under your head when we're doing some of our laying down poses. Um, Bolsters can be useful to have, cushions off the sofa, off the bed, you know, anything like that. You can just have it around you. So you've got a couple of minutes um, if you need to get hold of anything. And of course, just wearing some nice comfortable clothing, um, something that you can stretch in. You can be in your pyjamas if you want to. I realise we're a little bit early for bed, seven o'clock. Um, the reason I've done it a little bit earlier this week um, compared to the last bedtime ones I did is my hubby, may well be um, coming home a little bit earlier. So it just saves him bursting through the door in the middle of it. So, all right, so hi Ruth. Uh, yeah, hi Ruth, hi Rachel, lovely to be with you. Hope you've all had a nice day today. I went shopping today, so it was a bit bit nervous, bit nervous going shopping. I've only been to Sainsbury's once in the past. Um, ah, brilliant, thanks Teresa, yeah. Um, so I've only been to Sainsbury's once within the last four weeks, so it was quite, it wasn't too bad to be honest, it, was, it seemed quite well managed and everyone was good. Lovely, so I'm going to get started now, we're just on seven o'clock. So bring yourself onto your mat or you can of course just be practicing on the floor on the carpet if that feels okay to you. We're going to come to a nice comfortable seated position to begin with. So coming either into cross legs if that feels good for you or you can take the feet out in front if that's better. So don't worry if cross legs isn't great for you. You might find your cross legs is a little bit higher. So the oil that I'm using today, any of you that are, are coming and tuning in fairly regularly, know that I like to use a little bit of aromatherapy or essential oil. Um, so tonight I'm going to be using lavender oil, which helps to support sleep. It's a sedative, really helps to make you feel quite nice and relaxed. Other relaxing oils include uh, frankincense, um, ylang ylang, uh, chamomile is another good one and geranium can also be you know a little bit relaxing um, but it's not as sedative as, as the lavender and those other ones so okay so maybe just applying a little bit of oil to your pulse points so you can just enjoy that lovely aroma and get the limbic system working in the brain we're going to take a nice big breath in as we breathe out I want you to relax your shoulders just let those shoulders really release. And we're going to spend a couple of minutes seated, just letting go of anything that's happened in the day so far. So just spending a few moments, just releasing any tension that we might have, drawing a line under our day or indeed our week so far, and just finding that nice comfortable place to sit. Beautiful. Breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. So just relaxing down. I want you to let go of any tension through those legs. If it feels more comfortable, you can sit on a blanket or a cushion as well. So take a little bit of time just to find that comfortable seat. 
Okay, so relax the leg muscles, allow everything to feel nice and soft. Breathe in and breathe out. Lovely. And then I want you to bring your awareness um, to your spine. Begin to lengthen a little bit through the spine, lifting through the top of the head. Let go of your belly. Just allow the belly to be nice and soft and relaxed. And allow the arms and the hands to relax down onto the thighs. Nice, just soften through the face. Maybe opening and closing the mouth just a fraction. Just to kind of stretch out the mouth, stretch out the jaw. And maybe just taking the tongue gently behind the teeth, allowing them to be nice and comfortable. Breathing in and breathing out. And we're just going to take a few moments breathing, allowing the nervous system to come into that lovely state of relaxation. So take a nice deep breath in. Fill the lungs. Notice the in, on the inhale as you expand into the lungs. A gentle pause and then release. Just allow any tension to drain away into the floor. Breathing in. Filling those lungs and then breathing out. Lovely. Releasing. And one more time, just a nice breath in here. Fill the lungs as much as you can. And exhale. Just letting it all go. Nice. So we've arrived on our mat. We're here. Well done, all of you that have managed to join me this evening. And well done any of you that tune into the class a bit later on. Some of you might want to have a look later on if that suits your routine a little bit better. So we're going to spend a moment here just easing into the neck for a moment, just letting go, releasing any tension. So just gently taking that chin down onto the chest, allow the back of the neck to feel nice and long and allow the head to just be a little bit heavy. So allow it to just hang down. Breathe in and breathing out, really nice. And just spend a few moments here just releasing the back of the neck. So especially for those home workers, some of you might have been on computers all day. It's really nice just to allow that softness through the back of the neck, softness in the face. And stay connected with your breathing as you're here. Gently lifting through the spine but relaxing that belly. Remember to really let go of the belly. Take a breath in here and as we exhale, we're gonna bring that head all the way back to the center. And then gently take the glance upwards and allow the nose to just move up to where it feels comfortable. So find a lovely gentle stretch through the throat, but make sure you're working within your own range of movement. Okay, take a breath in here. And exhale, bring your head back to the centre. Lovely. We're going to inhale and then as we exhale, look across to one side. It doesn't matter which side. Just find that lovely release through the neck. Breath in again and exhale back to the centre. And then breathing in and breathing out all the way over to the other side. Lovely release. Breathe in and breathe out. Nice, breath in here, and as we exhale, bring that head all the way back to the centre again. And this evening, we're really going to be looking at moving mindfully and slowly, um, just taking that time to find our way with any movements through the body. And it's all really about the relaxation side of things, um, reducing stress, release, reducing anxiety, helping to bring us back to our centre a little bit. So allowing us to just spend the next you know, 55 minutes, 50, you know, 55 minutes to an hour or so looking inwards, being with ourselves. Okay, we're going to take a nice big breath in, just open through those collarbones, roll the shoulders back. We're going to release the arms and lift them all the way up. Bring the palms of the hands together and then draw your hands all the way down to your heart centre. And I want you to feel connected here for a moment into your heart centre. So connecting the thumbs into the breastbone. Press the palms of the hands really firmly together. Feel a beautiful opening here through your collarbones. Draw the belly in a fraction now as we begin to become a little bit more upright. 
We're going to take a breath in here. As we exhale, just release the head again. So just bowing the head down in Anjali Mudra. And our mantra for this evening, or our intention that we're going to set for this evening, is I release all tension from my mind and my body. So just silently, or you can say it out loud if you want to, I release all tension from my mind and my body. And one more time, I release all tension from my mind and my body. Really nice. Breath in here and release the hands. Allow those hands to just release down onto the sides. I'm going to gently inhale again and roll those shoulders up. Exhale, release them down. Inhaling all the way up. And exhaling, just let go. And then one more time, just inhaling up. And releasing all the way down. Beautiful. So, we're going to be looking a little bit at lower backs evening so just maybe spending a bit of time bringing our awareness and our focus to what we call in yoga our root chakra or our or muladhara um, so just really spending some time thinking about that lower half of the body and how we often carry a lot of tension through the lower back so the lower back can give us pain for a number of different reasons it might be that we su we're suffering from something muscular it might be that we're holding tension or it might be that we're doing something different. We may be gardening, sitting at a desk a lot longer, any of these things. So it may be that we've got an old injury or a new injury that we're working with. So if any of you do have any lower back issues, just be really mindful as we're working through the asanas and just make sure that you look after yourself. If you feel any pain at all at any point, that's your message from your body for you to stop and to say, no, I'm not going any further. We never move through pain. Okay, so we're going to come over onto our backs now with the knees bent. And if you want to, you can have a little blanket just underneath your head just to give yourself a little bit of cushioning and support here. You can see me okay. Move my cup out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Nice. So try and keep that head nice and central if you can. I want you to bring the legs um, to around about hip width distance apart and the feet about hip width distance. See if you can just touch the back of the heels and then allow the back to just soften down into the floor. We're going to spend a moment just working with some pelvic curls. So just take a nice big breath in here and then as we exhale, bring the awareness to the belly button, draw your belly button in and find a flat back down on the floor. So pressing that lower back down into the floor. Then as you inhale, release and find a gentle curve through the lower back. Exhaling again, we're going to draw that belly button in and inhaling, release. Just allowing that gentle natural arch to happen in the back. Exhaling as we draw the belly in. A little tiny bit of a curl through the pelvis and inhaling as we release. And two more times here. So drawing that belly in as we exhale. Really pull the belly button as far back to the spine as you can. And inhaling, just releasing. And just notice how that feels through the hips, through the pelvis, and through the lower back. Come back to a nice neutral position now. So we're going to work with some gentle rolling bridges. So I want you to draw your shoulders away from the ears. Bring the palms of the hands down into the floor and see if you can press all the air out from underneath your palms. Press into the feet as well. So we want, I want you to get a feeling of lightness here. So try to not to struggle in the pose. Try to make it feel as if it's a nice natural flowing move and if it's nice and light. So take a breath in here. And then on the exhale, we're going to draw the belly in and just begin to lift the hips a little bit away, maybe only coming up towards the middle of the back. Another breath in here at the top. And exhale, roll down through the spine. And I want you to see if you can touch every vertebrae on the way down. So find a nice rolling motion here. Beautiful. Breath in when you reach the bottom. And then exhale, draw your belly in. And again, lift that belly up, lift the hips up, and maybe come a little bit higher this time. 
breath in at the top and exhaling all the way down. So try to keep your head nice and central rather than turning your head to the side, maybe to look at the screen. Take a breath in here and exhale, draw your belly in, lifting those hips all the way up. Really lovely. Pressing up in towards the shoulders, pressing into the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. Breath in at the top. Exhale, rolling all the way down. So you should be feeling a lovely flexion through the spine, the beginning of like of some of almost a warming up of the back. Really nice, really nice way to massage the back without having a massage therapist there. And all the way down. And then one more time, we're going to breathe in and exhale, rolling those hips away. Really nice. Draw the belly in and squeeze the bottom and the legs a little bit this time. We're just going to hold here for a moment and take a couple of long breaths if it feels good for you. So again, anyone with back issues and this is not good and your or knees or you're finding a problem here at all, remember you can always come down and rest whenever you need to. But if you want to, you can just press firmly into hands and feet, begin to squeeze the leg muscles. Relax the shoulders, relax the face. Breathe in deeply and breathe out. You can let it go through the mouth if that feels good. Breathe in again and breathing out. And then one more time, take a nice deep breath in here and exhale, slowly roll all the way down. Beautiful, until your tailbone comes to the floor and just let go of everything for a moment. Nice and gently, we're gonna draw, first of all, your right knee, then your left knee in. Feel that connection into your lower back. So feel a nice pressure into your lower back, but I want you to try and keep your tailbone down on the floor. So if it feels good for you, a gentle rock from side to side, just giving you a gentle massage into that lower back. And if it still feels good for you, we're going to begin to just make some nice circles into that lower back. So taking the hands to the knees, you can just draw some small circles with those knees, easing into your back. Stay connected to your breathing. So make sure you're still breathing in and out, just easing into this pose. So this is known as Apanasana, um, also known as wind relieving pose. And it's a fabulous pose for the lower back. So we're going to just take those circles in the other direction now. Lovely. Nice and gentle because you're really, you know, kind of feeling your way around what's going on with your lower back here. Lovely. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. So again, just hug those knees in, not too strongly, just nice and gently so it feels nice rather than it feeling a struggle. We're going to take a breath in here. Send that left leg away nice and long. Press into the heel of your left leg and lengthen the leg away. We're going to gently take that foot, the right foot, down onto your thigh. And then bring your left arm around the outside of the knee and the other arm comes away to the side. Beautiful. Is everyone okay here? Really nice. Take a breath in and then very gently begin to draw that leg across the body. So we're finding a little bit of a twist through the waist here and a little bit of lengthening between the hip and the shoulder. Now, any of you with any lower back stuff going on, you might want to really feel your way into this. Go nice and gently. So some of you may find here is enough and this is where you want to stay. Some of you may want to roll that knee over. Make sure you're keeping this shoulder on the floor. Really nice, ease into it. You can take the glance to the hand Lovely, breathing in and breathing out. So there's no place where you have to be here. It's all just about noticing what's going on through your body. So in class, I often encourage people to close their eyes so that they can feel what's happening through the body. And maybe as you breathe in, you'll find some space. And if you find a bit of space, you can exhale and just ease into it a little bit more. Really nice, breathing in and breathing out. Well done everybody. One more breath in here, bring that knee back up, draw it in, hug it in nice and tightly. And then we're gonna change legs. So 
This time draw your left knee in, send the right one away nice and long. Make sure you feel nice and balanced on the mat. You might need to just rearrange the hips a little bit. And then draw that left knee in as close as you can towards the chest and press into the heel with your right foot. So your toes are pointing up towards the ceiling on that outstretched leg. And you feel nice and strong through this leg. You're really pressing and putting tension into the heel. Lovely, inhale and exhale. And as we exhale, just take that foot over onto the thigh. Bring, this, bring the right hand around the knee. Left one reaches away to the side. Remember to anchor that left shoulder down. Take a breath in here and as you exhale, begin to draw that left knee over the body. Nice, so not forcing anything, just exploring your way into these stretches. So particularly if you've got lower back issues or anything going on with your body, really important that you don't rush into poses, that you just take your time, comfortably find your way into them. And you can again look towards that left hand, gives you an oppositional stretch through the neck. Breathe in and breathe out. Really nice. One more nice deep breath in here. See if you can find a little bit more space as you exhale. Beautiful. Breathing in. Allow the body to really soften into this pose. And we find it becomes quite transformative. It really, over time, when you're doing this on a regular basis, two or three times a week, as those of you that are joining me for classes whenever you can, you're doing this more and more, so you'll find it easier and easier every time one more breath in and then bring it all the way back up to the centre. Lovely. Hug that knee in again. Hold it in nice and tightly. Flat back down onto the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. Really nice. So bringing the other knee back in again. Gentle rock from side to side just to reline the pelvis and reline the sacrum. And then pop your feet both down onto the floor. Okay, we're going to come into... Uh, reclined bound angle now. So those of you familiar with reclined bound angle, feel free to move into it um, as quickly or as slowly as you want to, as you're more used to working in this pose. Any of you new to bound angle, what we do is we bring soles of the feet together and then we allow the knees to gently part, but let them come down nice and slowly, particularly with you, if you have any uh, back issues or hip issues. You might want to pop the hands just underneath the top of the thighs. It gives you a little bit of support here. And you should be feeling a stretch into the inner thigh. So the knees make their way down towards the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. And we have a choice here. We can take the feet a little bit further away if that feels better for us. Or we can ease those feet a little bit closer towards the groin if that feels better. Wherever we are, Pressing the soles of the feet together, really finding a nice connection. I want you to see if you can feel every individual toe pressing its opposite. So we'll find that pressure between the big toes touching all the way down. Really nice. Breathe in and breathe out. Lovely opening into the hips and a lovely realigning for the pelvis. Beautiful. Take a nice big breath in. If it feels nice for you, we're going to take those arms overhead and just reach away, finding a lovely stretch through the upper torso. Breathe in and breathe out. We're going to relax a little bit into this because we're not necessarily, we're not really looking to really struggle into the pose and find a lot of length. I want you to find space here. So breathe in and then allow the arms to relax. Stay with your breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Really nice. See if those hips maybe want to open a little bit more or if the knees maybe want to release down a fraction more. One more deep breath in here. As we exhale, bring the palms of the hands together. Draw your hands again all the way down to your heart centre. Again, bringing your awareness back to your heart, sending love and compassion to yourself and to others. Really nice. Breath in here, we release. Allow the palms of the hands to turn upwards. One more breath in. We're going to take the hands underneath and draw those knees all the way back up. 
Beautiful. Nice and gently, we're going to come over onto one side, maybe take the hands just underneath the temples for a moment, and just take two or three breaths laying on your side before we transition over into our child's pose. Breathing in and breathing out. Really nice. One more breath in and then we're going to come over and come into child's pose. So, first of all, taking the knees as wide apart as you can. Find a comfortable place to be here. Some of you may need to have a block or a cushion or blanket underneath the forehead as you come down. So, but see how you feel as you make your way into the pose. And again, I want you to ease into it nice and gently. So not kind of forcing yourself into this pose. So begin to just walk the hands very gently. You might even want to just come to the forearms if you're working with a lower back problem. You may want to keep the hips lifted a little bit. That's okay. But if you can, see if you can ease your torso down and bring your forehead to the floor. So breathe in and breathe out. We're going to draw the arms back a little bit. So just take that tension off of the arms for a moment. Find that connection between the forehead and the floor. And remember, if you need to, you can have a cushion or a blanket here just to bring the floor up to you a little bit more. That might be more comfortable. Remember to work in a way that suits your body. So anything doesn't feel right, you don't have to do it. You can take that time out. Breathing in and breathing out. Really nice. We're going to take one more breath in here and then we're going to bring some activity to the arms and reach those hands forwards again. Find a little bit of stretch here into the arms. As you breathe in, really filling the lungs up, seeing if you can get the lungs to touch the ribs at the back of the body. Beautiful. Breath in and breath out. Really nice. One more breath in here. And we're going to bring ourselves slowly up to our hands and knees. So make your way slowly into hands and knees and sort out anything you need to sort out. Lovely. And then I want you to think about really drawing your shoulders away from your ears. The elbows, I want the insides of the elbows to look at each other and spread your fingers really nice and wide. Okay, so a little bit of work here for the lower back with cat cow. So really thinking about drawing that belly in. We're going to take a breath in. Draw belly button into the spine. And then as we exhale, just gently tucking that tailbone under, rounding the back. Beautiful. It should feel quite nice. Inhaling as we lower, not too much of an arch. Beautiful. And then exhaling, drawing your belly button in. So a nice gentle cat cow here. Inhaling through. And exhaling. And closing the eyes if you want to. I want you to find that lovely breath and movement together. So inhaling as you lower the belly nice and gently. And exhaling, drawing your belly in, rounding the back, pressing into those fingers. Remember, you can modify by bringing the arms down to the floor if you have any issues uh, with your wrists. Really nice. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. One more time all the way through. So we're going to inhale into our cow pose and exhale to cat. And then come back to neutral. And I want you to make a bit of a choice here yourself for whatever you need to do. So you might have been gardening or you might have been shopping today like I have, or maybe sat at a desk. You might find that you want to take the hips gently from side to side. You might find that you want to come back to this lovely cat cow. You may find that you want to maybe walk the hands forwards a little bit and circle those hips, easing into the side of your body. So it's your choice now just to keep your hands and knees on the floor and move in a way that feels nice for you. So you can close the eyes. Any of you feel particularly tired this evening, you can just bring yourself back to child pose and take a little rest. So, so kind of just go with what you need to do for now. Breathe in and breathe out. A little bit of freestyling. Beautiful. Breath in. And breath out. 
lovely. One more breath in here and then as we exhale come back to hands and knees and we're going to gently take the hips back and sit back into child pose again. Release your forehead to the floor, reach away into those hands and just let go of your wrists for a moment, maybe circling the wrists, get a little bit of movement into those wrists and maybe a little shake into the wrists if they were feeling it from your cattail. Beautiful, take a nice big breath in here and exhale, we're going to bring ourselves down onto our bellies. So just sort your clothing out if you need to and then we're going to just lower ourselves down here and make a nice little pillow with the hands and just rest your forehead in the pillow on that pillow I mean if you've got a real pillow as well you might want to have that on top of your hands just to give you a little bit more cushioning okay so just let go of the body turn the toes inwards turn the heels out keep your head nice and central and then breathe deeply in and breathe out. Really feel the breath as it comes into the belly. Allow the body to feel nice and soft. Beautiful. We're going to take a breath in. Just pick up the head very gently. And if this feels good for you, we're going to move into what we call Sphinx Pose. So we're going to take the legs nice and wide apart. This gives the sacrum a little bit of space. And then we're going to begin to gently walk the hands back so that we come to a lovely, um, what we call Sphinx pose, a little bit like the Cobra pose, but we've got some support here with the arms. So we look towards getting the elbow underneath the shoulder, but of course, if you feel any tightness through your back, that's going to be your message to come a bit lower um, or to maybe take a rest at this point and just work on the floor with your head down. So I want you to now bring your awareness to your belly. Begin to draw the belly in and press down into your pubic bone. And what happens then is you lengthen your spine. So you find that it releases any tension through that lower back. So lift up and out of the shoulders and the collarbones so that you're not kind of sinking down into it. And keep the gaze just forwards, nice and gently. Point your toes and begin to lengthen the legs a little bit if you can as well. So you feel a bit of connection into the legs, connection into the thighs, the pubic bone is pressing down and we're drawing that belly in and we're bringing the chest forwards, gaze is nice and steady. Breathe deeply in and breathe out. But remember if you have any pain here or this doesn't feel good for you, you can always just come down and take a rest. Really nice. Inhale and exhale. Lovely. Inhale and exhale. And then one more breath in here. And as you exhale, bring the hands together and slowly roll yourself down, bringing your forehead to the hands. And just bring those legs a bit closer together. Turn your toes in and your heels out and let go. Maybe give the hips a little bit of movement from side to side. Nice deep breath in here and let it go. Beautiful. So we're going to pick up the head, gently bring the hands to just underneath the shoulders, draw those elbows in, tuck your toes under a little bit and then just press yourself back to hands and knees. Lovely. So we're going to take a little gentle rotation here. So I want you to pick up your right foot and just extend it out for a moment. So press into the underside of the toes and feel a lovely stretch through the whole back of the leg. Draw your belly in and then gently just bring your foot up alongside your hand. Okay. So the foot's nice and close to the hand and you're hugging that knee in towards your shoulder. Beautiful. So take your time to get there. And see how it feels. You might find your foot is here rather than up close, that's okay. Just work in a comfortable and safe way. Then what we're going to do is planting the opposite hand down. So we've got the right foot forwards, so the left hand stays down and the right arm opens up and we turn towards this leg. So we find a nice gentle twist and rotation in the body. Breathe in and look up to the hand. Breathe out. Draw your belly in, 
breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful. One more time as we expand through the chest as we breathe in and then release. Bring the hand all the way down and just step that leg back. Lovely. Take a breath in here and exhale. Just notice the attention that it brings to your body. Take another breath in here and as we exhale, the left leg releases and we're going to press into the underside of the toes again. Find that lovely stretch. Really nice. Nice long line of energy. Draw your belly in and then as we exhale, just bring that foot up alongside the other hand. So again, we're hugging it in nice and tightly in towards that shoulder. Take a breath in, we plant the other hand down. So, so this time it's that right hand comes down and then we're going to turn towards the knee. So make sure you're drawing that knee in towards you. Gentle rotation through the torso, turning the belly button towards the thigh, breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. Allow your breath to be nice and soft here as well. Try not to struggle. Steady as it goes. So drawing that breath in slowly and steadily and then breath out. One more time. And then on the exhale, we're going to release all the way down. Bring that knee back. Take your knees nice and wide and sit back into your child pose. Maybe take the hands underneath your forehead. Big breath in and breath out. Really lovely. So well done, everybody. So we're going to take a nice breath in here. As we exhale, just begin to bring yourself all the way back up to seated. And we're going to come back over and come to the middle of our mats again. Really nice. So again, coming to a nice, comfortable cross leg position. Take a moment here again to just allow those legs to relax. Beautiful. We're going to lift nice and tall. Find length through the whole of the spine. So lifting that crown of the head and letting go of any tightness through those legs. Beautiful. So <clears throat> a couple of options here again for our twist. You can keep both hands on the knees for now. In fact, I think we'll all do an open twist to begin with. So take a breath in here. And we're going to pick up that left hand and we're going to take the left hand behind and just gently turn. So this hand is staying on the leg. Find a gentle twist here. It's a lovely open twist. So no struggle. Try and keep your head over your heart, your heart over your pelvis. Beautiful. Breathe in as you lift through the crown of the head and breathe out. And if you've got a little bit more turn through the chest, only if the space is there, just move into it. Beautiful. One more breath in here and exhale, come back to the centre. We're going to do that on the other side. So again, roll the shoulders, draw those shoulders down. Breath in, we take the other hand behind, so the right hand comes behind. Gently opening through the chest. Breathe in as we lift through the crown of the head and breathe out, gently turning. Really nice. Breath in again and gently turn and one more time just a nice lift of the crown and see if you've got any more space to move into but don't worry if not take it to where it feels good and then releasing we come all the way back to the center we're going to take that breath in again bring the arms up Clasp the hands, press up, find a lovely stretch through both arms, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Beautiful. Turn your palms over, open into the back of the hands and then bring those hands down to chest height. So we're opening into the back of the body, opening through those shoulders. Take a breath in here as we exhale, allow the chin to come to the chest and then draw your belly in and round your back. Find a lovely C shape through the spine so it feels really nice, nice kind of opening into the spine. Beautiful. Breathing in again, we're going to lift up, come back up nice and tall, turn those palms upwards, exhale, release the hands, come all the way down. Really nice. 
breath in as we lift and lengthen through the crown and breath out we're going to gently turn towards that left leg okay so take a nice gentle turn lift through the crown of the head this time the hand can come onto that opposite knee if it feels okay gently turning the chest breathing in and breathing out really nice twist beautiful see if you can find a little bit more space in it and then next time you breathe out we're going to come all the way back to the center lift up nice and tall through the crown of the head as we exhale take it over to the other side lovely breath in as we lift through the crown of the head and then breath out gently turning your chest nice allowing the mind to quieten allowing a softness to the face allowing a relaxation to those shoulders one more breath in here and release coming all the way forwards okay so we're going to come to a nice gentle forward fold or forward bend in our cross legs if that feels good for us so changing the cross of the legs now so we work a little bit into the other side we're going to take a breath in here and exhale just begin to walk your hands softly forwards to wherever it feels comfortable once you feel comfortable i want you to begin to let go so press down into the floor and then let go of your belly and allow the back to round a little bit and allow the head to come down now for some people here is going to be enough so you're going to feel maybe quite a stretch already here which is okay for other people who have a different physiology and you might find that you can need to come a little bit further before you start to feel that stretch so play around with it see where it works for you some of you might find coming onto the forearms works better so if you do have a block in front of you you might want to come down onto your forearms and just bring your forehead to the block lovely breathe in and breathe out really let go of your belly allow it to soften and allow the whole body to soften wherever you are so you might be there or you might be up here just letting go really lovely stay with that breath for a moment so nice and softly breathing in and breathing out as you release and relax beautiful one more breath in here and we're going to gently just begin to walk the hands back and this time just take those legs out in front for a moment so they'll feel a little bit bit of um, tension from where they've been in cross legs so take a nice stretch through the front through the legs send them out draw your toes towards you so really see if you can pull the toes towards your face and press into the heel lovely stretch up through the back of the legs we're going to take a breath in lift the arms up nice and high and see if you want to fold forwards a little bit take the hands down to the knees or to the shins wherever works for you so no pulling through the back though remember to pay attention to what's going on there we're looking for a stretch in the legs here so this is about the back of the legs so for some people who have more who are blessed with more flexibility not always a blessing actually if you suffer with hypermobility it can be quite painful so but if you do have more flexibility and you need a bit more, then you can come forwards and take a hold of the toes. Backs of the knees descending down towards the floor. Really nice. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. One more breath in here. And we're going to very slowly bring ourselves back up. And come back to that lovely cross legs position. Beautiful. So take a nice breath in here, arms come up nice and high, bring your palms together and draw your hands down to your heart centre. Just going to take a moment here to quieten the breath, quieten the mind by using the breath. So palms here, breath in, allow the breath to be nice and relaxed, allow it to be your own natural breath and then we're going to release the hands down taking a mudra if any of you are comfortable with working with mudra so maybe chin mudra uh, thumb and finger together and the other fingers just going away 
and this symbolizes the bringing together of yourself and your higher power so whatever that higher power needs to be or your consciousness breathe in and breathe out really nice closing the eyes and just allowing the breath to settle as we inhale and exhale and as we listen to the breath I want you to notice how your breath is this evening so notice a softness to the breath notice how long you need to breathe in for before you feel that urge to breathe out follow the journey of the breath as it comes in through the nose as you find a gentle pause and then it comes out through the nose breathe in and breathe out really nice every time you breathe out just seeing if you can release any more tension from your body lovely so we're going to very gently make our way into our shavasana which is of course the most important part of the of the evening and I'm going to be reading a very gentle yoga nidra for you to be going through in the next few minutes which is about you moving consciously through your own body um, and just bringing your awareness to different body parts so in order for you to do this I want you to come down onto your back if that feels good for you any of you who want to stay seated for any reason then you can if you come onto your back and you've got any back issues you might want to have a bolster underneath your knees or roll up a towel and put a blanket over you and that will make you feel a little bit warmer the body can start to cool down when we come into um, shavasana so spend a couple of moments just making yourselves nice and comfortable here lovely use whatever pillows blankets you need i want you to make sure that you feel comfortable and warm breathing in and breathing out some of you may have eye pillows and you may want to use those eye pillows I'm just going to turn this right down okay hopefully you're all sit you're all nice and comfy and warm now and you can begin to just relax the body and I want you to just allow your consciousness to move through your body as you're guided Okay, so to begin with, I want you to feel your face, just notice your jaw. Become aware of any sensations in your mouth. Without moving, feel the roof of your mouth, underneath the tongue, and notice your teeth, your gums, your tongue, the root of the tongue, the inside of your right cheek, and the inside of your left cheek sense taste in your mouth and now begin to feel all of the parts of your mouth together as a whole the entire mouth as a sensation and now bring your awareness to your nose notice the length of your nose the nostrils notice your right nostril your left nostril notice both of your nostrils together and feel the breath as it passes through both of your nostrils and then begin to bring your awareness to your ears just feel the wrinkles and the folds of your ears notice the backs of the ears the ear canals the inner ears and just be aware of your ears hearing and receiving sound maybe notice any sounds that you can hear and then let them go and now feel your eyes the eyelids the eyelashes the surface of the eyes and the centers of the eyes the backs of the eyes and behind your eyes and become aware of your forehead your crown your whole head throat neck right shoulder right arm 
hand, right palm, feeling the right hand thumb and the first finger, the second finger, third finger, fourth finger and now feel the whole of your right hand vibrant with energy and become aware of your right wrist, your forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder and feel your throat centre and then notice your left shoulder, your arm, your hand. Notice left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. The whole hand is radiant with light. And become aware of left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder and throat centre. And now bring the awareness to your chest and your heart space. Your heart centre, your stomach, your navel centre, shoulder blades, between the shoulder blades, your ribs on the back, your lower back and your entire spine. Become aware of your whole back supported by the earth. And now feel the right hip, right thigh, knee, right lower leg, ankle, top of the foot, sole of the foot, big right toe, all of the toes and feel the whole of your right foot. And become aware of sensation in the navel, the left hip, the thigh, the knee, the left lower leg, the ankle, the top of the foot, the sole of the foot, big left toe, all of the toes, and feel the whole of your left foot. And become aware of the right side of your body. Now feel the left side of your body. Feel the back of your body, the side of your body that faces the ground. And now feel the front of your body, the side of the body that faces the sky. Now feel the right arm and the left leg together. Right arm and left leg. And now feel the left arm and right leg together. Left arm and right leg. And now feel the whole of your body now. The whole body connected. And just become aware of your breath once again. And begin to deepen your breathing, just noticing an increased sense of connection to your body and an increased sense of connection to your breath. And we're going to spend a few moments just breathing, knowing that we're in a safe, secure place and that we're supported by our practice.
so we're going to begin to deepen the breathing again. And let's bring ourselves back into our bodies, back into our minds. Notice your hearing, notice any sounds that you might be able to hear inside or outside of the room. And just start to reconnect with your body as we begin to make some small movements with the fingers, some small movements with the toes. You can keep the eyes closed for now. Just moving the hands, moving the feet, maybe rotating the wrists, rotating the ankles, and then allowing those movements to become bigger. So moving into the arms and the legs, maybe a little bit of movement in your hips and in your shoulders. Really nice. Well done. So if you've still got your eyes closed, you might want to bring palms of the hands together, create a little bit of heat and energy through the hands, and then take the hands over the eyes, just bathing those eyes in darkness for a moment. Lovely. And whenever you feel ready, you can gently begin to open the eyes and just spread the fingers, and that will allow a little bit of light to come in. Take a lovely stretch, so reach overhead if that feels good for you. And if you're laying down on the mat, you might want to bring those knees into your chest and very gently work into that lower back again. So apanasana and using that lovely rolling motion is a really good way to, to kind of massage and exercise into your lower back. So all of the things that we've done this evening um, have been with lower back in mind to a certain extent as well as about just relaxing the body, relaxing the mind. So when you feel ready, gently bring yourself over to one side and then in your own time, gently bring yourself to a comfortable seated position. And that might be cross legs or it might be with the legs out in front. However, whatever feels comfortable for you guys. Really nice. And then once you're seated, I want you to just bring that awareness back to the spine. Think about lifting tall through the spine, lifting through the crown of the head. Again, bring the hands together and we're going to just rub the palms together. Again, creating a little bit of heat through those hands. Really nice. Place the hands, palms facing upwards onto the thighs and notice if you can feel any tingling sensations, any what we call prana, life force energy in the hands. A little bit of buzzing or a little bit of throbbing through the hands. Lovely, take a breath in. As we exhale, we're gonna very gently take the ear over towards the shoulder. Any side will do. Lovely, just a nice gentle release into the neck. So we're exploring the neck here with these stretches, not forcing. Allow the chin to just gently come down towards that side, looking down towards your knee, uh, down towards your leg. And then bring the head back to the center. Lift tall again through the crown of the head. Beautiful. And then exhale, allow a nice gentle bend and stretch through the neck as we bring the ear to the shoulder. Breath in here and exhale, looking down towards the leg and the chest and then bring your head back to the center. And then we end as we began really with this lovely stretch through the back of the neck. So really take a little bit of time here to find some space in the back of your neck. Close the eyes if you want to. And then breath in, bring the head back to the center. We're gonna bring our hands to Anjali Mudra and we're gonna revisit um, our sankalpa, what we call sankalpa or intentions or positive affirmation and statements. So I release all tension from my mind and my body. Breathe in. I release all tension from my mind and my body. And then one more time. I release all tension from my mind and my body. Beautiful. I'm going to bring the hands to the forehead and I want you to think kind and loving thoughts about ourselves and about others. And we bring it to the lips and we speak with kindness and the truth. And we take it to the heart and we have a kind, open and loving heart. Namaste. 
Thank you so much, everybody. We've finished up just before eight, so any of you that do have to scoot off, goodbye. Have a lovely evening and have a nice night's sleep. Um, I'm just going to bring the camera a little bit closer so I can see a couple of comments. Um, but so I will be back here tomorrow um, at 9.30 in the morning. Anyone has any suggestions for classes for tomorrow, let me know. Um, I'm always happy to sort of throw a few things in. So I hope you enjoyed the evening stuff. I'll be back again doing more evening stuff probably in a couple of weeks. Um, next week there'll be probably a couple of extra morning classes because Lee's working um, uh, the days to, uh, next week. So he's on nights at the moment. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was good for you. Oh good, I'm glad. Thank you. Thanks Julie. Lovely to Nice to see that you were here. Um, so, as I say, any of you have any suggestions for tomorrow's class, you know, let me know. If not, we'll just, I'll, I will just think of something in the morning. <laughs> um, so I'm here tomorrow morning at 9.30 and again on Friday morning at 9.30. I am putting together some more massage sessions as well. So I'm looking to do a massage session for elbows and wrists so it's going to be anything to do with tennis elbow and any wrist issues so that will be coming up in the future as well at some point um, but if anyone else has anything that they want to um, suggest please do I would also really like to do a session on legs up the wall um, but I'm going to have to find a different place in the house to do it so um, oh thank you thank you Laura <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it <laughs> um, so once I get a moment, I will find a way of doing legs up the wall somewhere in the house that I can film. And we'll, we're going to do a nice session on some of that legs up the wall and maybe with a view to working a little bit in shoulder stand, which is a really lovely thing to do against the wall. So thank you, Teresa. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jeanette. Lovely to see you. So go and have a lovely evening. Feel free to have a glass of wine if you want to. I didn't say that. Um, and uh, I shall see you all either in the morning or on Friday or sometimes over the next few weeks. So thanks very much. Take care um, and have a good evening. Bye. <laughs>